Hi everyone! Today we'll be doing something a little bit more fun. We'll be designing this awesome deck on Figma. Less talking, more action. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create slides that look like this. You will learn how to insert GIFs into your slides, and you will learn to make transitions like this. You will learn how to place photos into your mockup, presenting your product features while you tell a story. You will also learn how to make text transitions like this, create charts that appear one after another in a sequence. So let's get to it. So first of all, you will need an account on Figma. If you don't have it yet, go to figma.com, sign up. If you're just trying things out, you can use Figma on your browser. But I do recommend that you download the desktop app. It runs a lot smoother on desktop. Plus, you get to use a bunch of plugins and explore the community. So download the desktop app and come back to this video. I will be sharing the resources to this Figma file in the description below. The information in this slide is not real, so don't take it seriously. Open a new file, select a design file. Rename your file to something like Awesome Slides. On the left, you have your layers and assets, also your pages. When you tap on this arrow here, your pages expand. By default, you will be on design mode and you can select a prototype mode or inspect mode. So we'll be going on the design mode now. So first of all, we are going to create a frame. On Figma, frames are your best friend. Frames are something that you can link a prototype link from one frame to another. So tap F on your keyboard for frames or go to this icon here and tap on frame. So when you select frame on the right sidebar, select presentation, choose 16 by 9 slides. So now you have a frame with the size of a presentation slide. I'll rename this to 1 because I like to keep things organized and simple. Now you have your first slide. So let's check out the first slide. We are going to do this transition. You will notice this image expands vertically and the text comes in gradually. So let me replay again. App comes in first and design comes in later. First of all, press on T to create a text or select this text box here. I'm using the font Archival here. Archival font should be by default in your Figma software because it's a Google font where you can use it for free. Create a photo here. I selected this photo from Unsplash. Drag on this little dot here to adjust the radius. I'm just going to copy this from the template that I already have to speed things up. So we'll also be creating a footer that is reusable. Tap F to create a frame. Tap L to draw a line. Tap T to type. Now once you're done creating the footer, click on this icon here. It creates a component. A component is like a design system. You will be able to duplicate this thing over multiple places. And if I change one of these texts, the rest will change. If I change the color, the rest will change too. And in this case, because we want our slides to behave like templates where they are the same throughout all, so we are going to be using this reusable component here. You can tap on command and square bracket to arrange your layer back and forth. So if I tap on app and I tap command square bracket, it will go to the last of the layer. This is handy when you want to rearrange things in different layers so that you know what shows up first and what shows up last. Remember, app design should be two different components. I'm going to select the frame here. Make sure that you're selecting the entire frame and tap command D to duplicate. And to make my image scale vertically from the previous frame, I'm going to resize this image to make it shorter. I'm going to set the layer opacity to zero. This means that it's there, but you can't see it. So I will select app, click on it, click on shift, and also hold on spacebar to drag it around and make sure that it's still in frame. If you don't hold on spacebar, it will go out of the frame and it won't work. So you will need app to still stay in the frame when you click and drag. So I'll just click on app, hold shift, hold on spacebar, drag it to the side, set opacity at zero. Again, do the same thing for design. Click, shift, spacebar, drag. If you tap on command Y, you can still see your outlines. If you tap on command Y again, you'll go back to the preview mode. So again, I will select app and design and set the opacity to zero. So for the footer, command X to cut 
and I'll paste in the second frame instead. Select the first frame, go to prototype, tap on this plus icon here, an arrow will come out, drag it to the second frame. Select Smart Animate as your animation and select 1000 milliseconds as your animation time. So which means the transition from the first to the second frame will take 1000 milliseconds, which means one second. If I want to make sure app moves to the left on the next frame, you cannot have a different name, it will not work. We are going to tap on this present icon here to go into a present mode on click. There you go. I hope you are excited now. From this slide to the next, the transition is going to be like that. So if you notice, app is going to move to the left, design is going to move to the right, the photo is going to shrink, and a mock-up photo will zoom in. So let me play that again. And then when it zooms in, you will see the GIFs that is also auto-played. And the footer stays the same, nothing's gonna change for that. Duplicate this frame, move app to the side, like what you did earlier. Drag, hold on shift, and hit on spacebar to move it. And same for this. As for this little photo here, I'm just gonna make it shrink, shrink to maybe around here. Set the opacity to zero. Same for the rest of the text, I'm gonna set as zero. So I'm gonna paste the mockup photo here, go to giphy.com, type on stuff like bling white, go to stickers, save image as. So I'm just gonna drag the image from my desktop into Figma and it becomes a GIF. When you select the fill, you can toggle what are the states that you want to show on your prototype. Group these three elements together by tapping on Command G. I'm going to rename this as Phone. So in order for Smart Animate to do its job properly, you will need to make sure all layers are renamed to the same name. Go to Prototype, drag this to the third frame. Figma will automatically predict that you will want to use the same animation as the previous frame. I'm just gonna preview this again. You see, the stuff all fades out nicely, except for this mockup. I want the mockup to also appear from somewhere to have continuity. I'm gonna copy this, go back to the second frame, paste this here, tap on K to scale. So right now this photo is on the top layer, that's why it's showing up. I'm going to tap on command square bracket, keep tapping it until it goes to the back. Set this layer opacity to zero. So let's try again. On this slide, I'm gonna tap. Nice. And I'm gonna tap again. Look at the phone mockup. It appears from small to large. So on the next slide, your text should appear and this should scale down by width, but not by height. Again, select on the third frame, duplicate it, move it nicely align to the left by tapping on shift while I drag. Resize this group. This GIF is a little bit shrunk so I'm just gonna make it wider so that nothing breaks. Go to prototype mode, drag again. Nice. So now what is missing is just the text. So I'm just gonna copy this text here. I have grouped these two things into one and I just call it paragraph. I'm just going to place the text in the third frame Hold on shift and spacebar to drag. Yes! <sighs> so I took a break because it was raining and now it's okay. So let's continue. So now you have this really natural transition where the text comes in from the right. So in this example here, the phone photo goes to the left and the text goes to the right. And then the white mockup comes up from the left slightly slanted. Duplicate the slides again. So just gonna drag this and I'm gonna drag this. Say now you have this screen here and then you want to turn it into the mockup. So go to home, tap on community and tap search. Search for clay. Move to this tab, install this plugin. Select this frame here on the phone. I'm going to select clay mockups. So you can choose any device model you want or you want to change an angle. I will use the front facing angle. I will use a white color device. Click save as image, resize it. Let's make the phone transition. Copy this phone, go back to the fourth frame, paste it, rename this layer. So I'm just gonna call this white phone. Now that I have tilted into here, I'm going to move it to the back. Link frame four to frame five. So let's preview our designs. It doesn't look natural because 
The phone at the back is not set to opacity 0, so I'll just do that right now. Okay, and let's try again. Yes, yes. Actually, I used a different background color in my example, so I'm just gonna use that too. Select all your frames by doing that. On the fill, use a different color so that your slides look a little bit more polished. I'm going to duplicate this frame again. The next transition consists of this and this. So to do this, tap on T, create text, group them together, and I'll call it point one description. Draw a line by tapping on L, hold on shift so that the line is straight. I tap on O to create a circle. And you notice this circle here looks very different from what we have here. I picked a neutral color, I set to 50% opacity, and I did a background blur of 15. So in order to hide that background, I'm just going to add a background blur effect which you can go to effects to select background blur and just use any amount you want. If the blur level is low, then you will see less blurry backgrounds and this is up to you how you want to design it. So in this case, I'm just going to use 15 here. Group this and call it pointer one. This transition is pretty simple. So you're just gonna duplicate this and do the same thing. The next step is to link these frames together and repeat. So let's preview our slides to make sure we have what we want. Yes! So while presenting to your clients or the audience, you can present your features one by one without showing everything up front so that people will not be distracted by what you have to show. So the next transition we are going to attempt is this. When I transition to the next slide, this text moves in from the back of the phone, it becomes larger. The text goes to each direction and the phone goes up. Duplicate this, push this phone up, and same goes for this and this. Let's create a text here first, copy this text back into this frame. So if I just drag like this with my mouse, see the text doesn't scale down. And that's what I mean by scaling down, because you don't want to break this thing, right? Tap on K, scale it to roughly something like that because I want the text to show up from the top. Set this to zero opacity. So let's try. Boop. Yes. The next transition is the impact text will move to the top and a chart will show automatically without you tapping on the slide again. This will be useful when you want to show something without tapping on it all the time and it automatically appears. For example, when you send a slide to someone else, you want that person to have less taps, then you can auto animate these things. I'm gonna duplicate this slide, scale this with K, duplicate again, link these prototypes together. I want the text to come up first, then the chart, and then the text. So go to this frame, tap on O, hold shift, so that your circle doesn't look distorted. Duplicate this circle. If you hover over, you'll notice this thing here. So I'm just gonna make it start around here. Change the color so that we know what is this about. There's the start point, sweep percentage, and also the ratio. So I'm just gonna group this and call it pie chart. I'm just going to repeat this here. If you want to make dash lines, you can just go to this part here, select dash. Tap on the width of the dash you want, use a round cap. Okay, how do we make this appear one after another? Very simple. When you select one of these frames, you go to prototype mode. Instead of on click, you use after delay. Let's say 200 milliseconds, navigate to the slide 10. Let's try it out. Nice. Nice, see, you don't have to tap anything, everything disappears. And also you can share this prototype with people. You can also do different settings here and have fun with it. One more bonus tip for you guys. I highly recommend this plugin called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio. This is the plugin. For example, you have presented these slides to people and you want to export these slides as PDF. Go to this plugin here, Pitch Deck. Make sure the sequence is correct. Remove any unwanted screens. Export this presentation. Change this to PDF. So now you have your awesome slides. So if you have any other video that you'd like to see, feel free to suggest to me in the comments. If you like to learn how to craft your case study, craft your resume, or more Figma tips, it's up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!